It's time for STEM in the backyard. Today we're going to look for some little animals called roly polies or pill bugs. They're actually related to crabs from the ocean. They're crustaceans, but they've adapted to live on land. So we're going to see if we can find some. Let's first look in the grass. If we can find some in the grass. Hmm. I'm looking down real close. I see some little bugs jumping around when I move the grass. But I don't see roly polies in here. I think we might have better luck looking elsewhere. We could look under a rock. Nope, just more rocks. How about one of these? Under rocks is usually a good place. Oh, look at that spider. Wow. That is a cool looking spider. We surprised him. Oh, and do you see, I think that is a sow bug, a pill bug killer. Do you see that white thing by the spider? That is actually a pill bug skeleton. So he found some pill bugs. If he found some, maybe we can find some too. Let's go look in a different part of the yard. Oh, I see a bunch of dead leaves over here. That's what pill bugs like to eat. So let's look in there. Hmm, stuff has got some gloves on. That way her hands will be protected in case she finds any centipedes or something like that. Probably there's none of those. But, oh, here's one. This is not a pill bug. This is a grub. He's kind of a big, fat, caterpillary thing. And eventually he'll turn into a beetle of some kind. Hmm, what else do we see in here? Oh, oh, here's something interesting. This is an earthworm. Yeah, so earthworms also eat decaying plant matter, just like the pill bugs. So I think we're on the right track. Right here, I found a baby millipede. You might see these uh, in the summer, the big ones, when they come out uh, right after a rain. He's just flopping all around. They eat dead leaves too, so I'm gonna let him go down here and make my soil better. Oh, oh, I think I found a pill bug. So, here we go. And she's being real gentle. Sometimes when you pick them up, they'll turn into a ball. Sometimes that's actually easier to pick them up when they're a ball. But pill bugs are so gentle. They can't bite you. You can just let them crawl all over you and it kind of tickles. It's really fun. So, we're going to see if we can find a few more, and then we'll show you the type of habitat we're going to make. We put a little bit of dirt and dead leaves in there for them, and you can see they're kind of crawling around exploring it. But I think they need some things to climb on, like a playground. So I'm going to use just an old cereal box. Cereal boxes are nice because you can cut them with scissors. And I'm going to cut some strips, and then I can fold them into kind of like some little maze pieces. Mm, what else do you think we should have in here, Sapphire? Um, maybe a shady place for them? Okay, that's good. And why don't you use some of these uh, leaves and rocks and sticks, mm. put them in there in an interesting way. Oh, well, I cut out this to make a little house. See, it's got a little hole for them. And ooh, Sephir some found bark. some bark. We can make a little roof. Yeah, maybe we... Can you, you put that on? I think we could... Ooh, does that look... Um, how about that? It might balance, but if we need some tape, we got some tape. Yep. So I think I'm gonna do that and tape it. Oh, poor pill bug. Sorry, pill bug. Eh. Okay. Oh, and one reason why we put all these pill bugs in their little habitat is we're gonna see what kinds of foods they like best. So I'm gonna let Sapphire work on this, and then we will get some foods for them. Mm. Now we know they like dead leaves, but do they like some other things too? I have a little bit of sugar. I'm going to take a pinch, put it in there. Oops. Oops the water. Uh, Sapphire's going to get them some water because we know that they evolved from like crabs and lobsters and that kind of animal. And so they actually have gills to get oxygen. They don't have lungs, they have gills. I'm going to put some oats in there. We'll see if they eat oats. And here we have a carrot peel. The water. And some cucumber. Yep, put that water in there. We actually, I think I filled it up a bit too much. A pine nut. I just need to part a little bit of the water. <laughs> so yeah, we put some water in a bottle cap for them. Yeah, I think they should be able to climb over the edges of a bottle cap, but we'll watch and find out. There's a leaf of spinach. Here, will you get a little bit of banana for them? Okay. Now, uh, our pill bugs, when we make their habitat, we should make sure they have food 
and water and fresh air. And because we found them hiding under leaves, they might also like a place to hide. Do you see these little wavy things in the front of the pill bug? Do you know what those body parts are called? Antenna. Yeah, they use their antenna like feelers to feel what's in front of them and detect things around them. They also have some little eyes on the front. But those are a little harder to see. And so we are going to observe these pill bugs and we need a place to write down our observations. Pill bug foods. And let's put down all the foods we had. Sugar, oats, spinach, oats, banana. We're going to do orange. Blueberry, orange. Um, carrot? Carrot. And pine nut. Wait, and did you get write cucumber? down whatever foods you have at your house. Cucumber. Okay, I'll put that down too. And then we can write down our observations like... They, I saw a pill bug eating it, or nothing seems to have touched it, or whatever. We can write down what we observe down here. And now when we're done, we're going to put the pill bugs back in our yard. Because that's their home, that's where they belong. But I think they wouldn't mind hanging out with us for an afternoon or so. We'll be real gentle with them. And I want to hear from you. Where did you find pill bugs? And what does your habitat look like? And what kind of foods did they eat? Will you do the experiment? And I'm excited to see what you guys discover. Till next time!